Hello and welcome dear friends to another edition of Umuntu, a special economic development program devoted to free ideas for promoting fairness and human well-being in Malawi. The role of political leaders and ordinary citizens, how Malawi can get a foothold on the development ladder, and what holds back development progress in Malawi are some of the questions we tackle in this program. In today's edition, we focus on Malawi, where the Malawi Defense Force stands accused of infringing upon the rights of its citizens. We will explore the distressing incidents that have recently unfolded in the country. Joining us is Professor Richard Romo, a distinguished scholar and expert in human rights and a passionate advocate for justice. He joins us from Columbia University. Welcome, Professor Romo. Thanks for having me, Crispin. And welcome also to all our dear listeners. I'm your host, Crispin Dambula. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's begin by providing some background information. The Malawi Defense Force is entrusted with the crucial responsibility of safeguarding national security and protecting the welfare of Malawian citizens. However, troubling reports have emerged suggesting that this institution has been involved in human rights abuses, raising significant concerns within the country and beyond. Recently, the case of Mr. Lighton Manguji has gained attention. He dared to raise the government's alleged neglect of Karonga district, particularly in terms of infrastructure development such as roads. Mr. Mangoti pointed out the dire conditions of the roads in Karonga, shedding light on the hardships faced by its residents. Mr. Mangochi exercised his constitutional right to freedom of speech and expression, voicing concerns that directly affected the lives of his community. Unfortunately, his courage came at a great cost. <laughs> Additionally, Mr. Manguch expressed concern about the ill treatment of fellow Malawians at the Chilumba Barracks checkpoint, where some individuals were allegedly subjected to physical assault and coerced into paying money to pass through. <laughs> Kuzunzi Kumagenda miara, ndiye pope wa simenezo, kufuna so kutete za chuma cha antu, amu karonga kapena cha boma. Ifeo kuyambira pa wani, jurae ngati rodi purokoyo, simu icho samene muna aramuna asirikari kuti akarepa nse upachirumba baraks. Ifeo kuyambira pa, pa tena rodi purokopacha, kumabwela kuno, kukaronga boma kuno. Yambira pa wani ngati simujosa rodi brokoyo Anduna aza zaichi sirikari Minister of Defense Honi na Buhari nkandawire Ngati simujosa rodi brokoyo kuti ipite kwa pusi kumene kukuwandi kanandi boda Ife kuyambira pa wani jurae Omaso tauni asembo, tauni kanso Ya karonga Munatu uza Utaro the authority Haika mise utara wa Nti mise utamu karungamu Kwa mampaka li zaka zikupita Tipati kiza zose famozi Ujo saa rodi broko ya sirikari Uti kila mise utara kuota bodi Kwa mpaka pa junction ya dimagi Kuseri kwa bank ya national Kuseri kwa Ujoka pa sentimenti sano Fufika pa deboti Siti kumuona tara uja. Ndei feo ngati ya marawi. Ngati ziti ya marawi. Tukusia kudula misongo pa wan juraye. Kufikira mutaza chosa rodi broko ya chirumba. Kwa maso titamona kontrakita. Akuyamba kukonza nse wata. Timise utatara. Muno mkaronga. Amarawi anzanga kukaronga. Tukutinji igwa. Tukanga tifeso siya marawi. Ziko mkwambiri ndine raito ni mangozi.
These incidents represent a flagrant violation of human rights. No citizen should be subjected to such mistreatment or be forced to pay bribes for exercising their right to freedom of movement. The situation took a drastic turn when videos of Mr. Manguchi's complaints went viral. In a disturbing twist, he was kidnapped and coerced into releasing another video, this time apologizing and recanting his previous statements. This is a clear violation of Mr. Mangachi's human rights. He was merely exercising his constitutional rights, and his kidnapping and forced apology demonstrate a disregard for the fundamental principles of free speech and expression. It is crucial to emphasize that Mr. Mangochi committed no crime. The Constitution of Malawi explicitly upholds freedom of speech and expression, and any attempt to suppress these rights is an affront to the values of democracy and human rights. Absolutely. It is essential for the Malawi Defense Force and other relevant authorities to be held accountable for these human rights abuses. Protecting the rights of citizens should be their primary duty. Today we have shed light on the disturbing incidents involving the Malawi Defense Force and their infringement upon the human rights of Malawian citizens. It is our hope that by raising awareness and advocating for justice, we can contribute to a more accountable and rights-respecting society. Indeed, it is only through acknowledging and addressing such abuses that Malawi can pave the way for a brighter future, where every citizen's rights are respected and protected. Thank you, Professor Romo, for joining us today and sharing your expertise on this critical issue. Thank you for inviting me to be part of your program, Crispin. It's my pleasure to contribute. And thank you also to our dear listeners for tuning in. Before we go, we want to hear from you. Do you know other similar incidents where Malawians were mistreated by government institutions? Post your comments on msika.tech, M-S-I-K-A dot T-E-C-H. Thank you for being with us today. Be there again next week when we shall bring you another edition of Omuntu. Bye for now.